Amen. Alléluia. Alléluia. Father, we are grateful God to you. We celebrate you for another day. Thank you for the entrance of your word brings light and brings understanding to the simple. Bless your word again as you go forth this morning. Let light be shed upon your word. Lord Holy Spirit, we are my voice talk. Let your voice continue in this series. Jesus' name we have prayed. May that be very big clap of him. Hallelujah. Please have your seat. Proverbs 22, verse 2. Proverbs 22, 20, verse, Proverbs 22 verse, verse 2. Proverbs 22, verse 2. The New Living Translation. It says, The rich and the poor have this in common. The Lord made them both. The rich and the poor have this in common. The Lord made them both. I'm glad the Bible did not say the Lord made them so. He made them, everybody was made by God. But nobody was made poor or made rich. So I'm sharing with us another series beginning from today. What I call rich people, poor people. Rich people, poor people. At 20 differences exist between two of them. There are 20 reasons why money grows, wings, and departs from people and families. I've always wondered why only top 5% of every congregation are financially comfortable and have moved around a lot. And by God's grace, I've been privileged to move around about 230 denominations, about 400 churches of recent, but in fact, in course of my, of my ministry. And I found out that 95% of people in churches live below average. And I also found out the same thing is reflected in the wider society. I, li I lived in Hested before I built, I built my own personal house. And I found out all the houses you find in that estate, less than 15% of people own the houses. In fact, landlords with multiple houses don't stay in the neighborhood. Why is that six out of ten men are constantly borrowing and are in debt? Why is that 50% of men are still struggling to survive? Talk less of providing for their homes. Before this season, four out of ten men depend on their wives for their needs and survival. But of course, that number has increased now with the economic crunch. Women tend to have better coping survival mechanisms than men. Why does money grow with some people? Why do money come to some people and all they hear is goodbye, goodbye? Why do some people seem to attract money when others repel it? What does he say? That money is friendlier to some people while some others seem to be his enemy. Some people's money travel very far while some people's money are in reverse gear. There are habits that drive away money. There are habits that attract money. These are the habits that separate rich people from poor people. 
In Proverbs 23, verse 5. Proverbs 23, verse 5. I'm reading from Amplified Version. Proverbs 23, verse 5. Say, will you set your eyes upon wealth? It is suddenly gone. For wealth certainly make itself wings like an eagle that flies to the heavens. Why does money grow wings and depart from evil? One of them is negative. One of them is indecision and fear of taking calculated risk. Indecision and fear of taking calculated risk. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 4 Ecclesiastes 11 verse 4 He said, He that observed the wind shall not sow He that regarded the cloud shall not reap Money is like current That's why it's called, it is called currency Money is like an ever flowing river If you don't take decision the river protection for you. Some people they have money fears, like fear of not having enough, fear of losing money. Money fear is why some people don't give or so to projects. Money fear is why some people don't give first fruits of their increase for the fear of survival. And that is why they will not attract miracle of financial supply. No, this why people, people never build house is the fear of Omonile. When they hear of opportunities to buy, to land, to invest, they wait and see. The reason why many will never be self-employed because they fear sacking their boss. Fear. Money fears. Second reason why money grow wings and run away from some people and fly away for some people is lack of vision and foresight. Lack of vision and foresight. Proverbs 14, verse 8. Proverbs 14, verse 8. The New Living Translation. Proverbs 14, verse 8. Say, the wise man looks ahead. The fool attempts to fool himself and will face facts. Now, as most people are not thinking and they're not planning for their tomorrow, no vision. I spoke about eight years circle. I expected questions by now on the platform that should explain for down the eight year circle. And on, on my third circle, when I began this process, eight year circle of investment, aggressive, consistent. I began 2001 was when God put me to this. And that's the year I started the call to full-time ministry. No salary. To prove that it's not where you are working that matters. It is what you know that matters. It's not what you are earning that matters. But your knowledge behind how money works. I've given testimony about the first eight years circle. That ended 2009 from 2001. The next eight year circle that terminated 2007, 2018. And that one has started. And by 2026 again, under circle we start. With such understanding, you are able to now find out what is happening in the economy. 
But my pool, there's no such thinking. They are just going on and going on, and they wonder why things remain the same financially. Another reason why money grows wings and fly from people is unfaithfulness to God in tithes and offerings. Tithes and offerings. Malachi 3, 8 to 10. Malachi 3, 8 to 10. Until you, until your obedience in tithing and offering is established, your financial heaven remains blocked. If you are not concerned with tithes and offerings, you can prosper, especially in the kingdom. It will affect your children because your children don't ever see their parents tight. And the circle continues. Not just tight, offerings. Conscious offering. Conscious planning for offerings. Another reason why money grows means and fly from people, number four, is in discipline in the area of personal savings. In discipline in the area of personal savings. Proverbs 21 verse 20. Proverbs 21 verse 20, the living translation. It says, the wise man saves for the future, but the foolish man spends whatever he gets. Let me have to get amplified version. In application version of Proverbs 21 20, it says, There is precious treasure and oil in the house of the wise who prepare for the future, but a short sighted and foolish man swallows it up and wastes it. Hold it there. Can you see the way the Bible describes it? That people who are wise. People prepare for the future, they always have precious treasure and oil in their house. But a short sighted and foolish man swallows up and wastes it. I got myself of this thing very early. It has always helped me. For instance, when we, when we were asked to go and pioneer church in 1995, all they gave us in our church was prayer, no money. No venue, no instruments, no equipment, not even microphone. And in our group, only myself and my wife were working gainfully. And I was a teacher, past school teacher, who was that time being owed four months salary, past school teacher. And uh, her once again was also working in one of the mortgage banks. The rest of people were looking for a job. And we are eight that were sent out to go and start church. Eight. We are only four. A gainful employee. One is a couple just finished NYC. But that does not matter. I knew I have enough understanding as to financial management. The first thing we did was to go and open a savings account. And we, our money was not enough to open one. I told somebody, treasurer, say, borrow me your account. How much is there? Take note of it. We will keep on saving our monthly and my weekly income until we reach minimum amount to open church accounts. So from day one, there was savings. 2000. It's the 2016 that was our first income. It was saved. How do I know? I follow it up. Second week, then we had enough money. We opened our account. Even we opened our account, I said, we are going to buy land. So second month, we have opened another account to buy land for a church that is just starting because that was foresight. And from there, consciously, because our church collects all our income. He said, bring all your money, 100% to the equator. We are saving for your land. Sunday income. I said, what about what I do during me? He said, it's your own. Ah, we're doing seminar every month, three, three days. And people were giving. People were sowing. And we're putting that money into our account. And we're living on 30% of our income. Yeah. That's the way it was. And by the fourth year, this new church was able to buy land in Shomolu without recourse to the Ekota church. Why? That sense of planning ahead, that sense of discipline to save. I also taught my people. 
you are able to take advantage of opportunity. The land we bought was like a giveaway. It was a wild land to somebody, a young boy who could not afford to develop it. Two and a half plots. His mother was the only child. His mother will it to him. He said he could not do anything about it. He wants to sell it so I can go and buy a smaller plot somewhere and develop. That's how we came here and said we are ready for it. We already have savings within four years consistently. We are able to put a deposit down and we pay for the balance over the years. That's how we are able to get our landed property. Another reason why money grows wings and flies away is not honoring vows and pledges. Not honoring vows and pledges. So people make small of this. Exodus chapter 5, Ecclesiastes 5, 4 to 5. Exodus chapter 5, 4 to 5. It says, When you make a vow to God, do not delay to pay it. When you make a vow to God, do not delay to pay it. Do not put up pen it, or God takes no pleasure in fools who thoughtlessly mock him. Pay what you vow. Each time you make a vow, God take notes. Not pen it is mocking God. You can see why some people they wonder why is my money not staying. You pledge, you seem to forget, you pretend to forget and because pastor is not pursuing you the one, the one you promise nail and that is why money grows wings and fly from people number six is compromise and sinfulness compromise and sinfulness Proverbs 28 verse 13 Proverbs 28 verse 13 says he who covers his sins will not prosper but whosoever confesses and forsake them and shall have mercy Sinful practices, ungodly habits will send blessing away. Don't cut corners like others are cutting. You know this is dishonest. Dishonest gain will send away blessing. Don't cut corners. Don't deceive people. So as to make sales. Don't. One, when the people realize it, you have lost them. But apart from that, the Lord of Sabbath, who distributes wealth, who knows those, he, he will take note of it. You are being ungodly. Don't promise what you know you will not deliver. Don't go and buy inferior and call it original. Don't. He say, ah, what about that amass wealth illegally? The Bible says, the blessings of the Lord make it rich without adding sorrow. Those kind of wealth are sorrowful wealth. The one that is abandoned, that is accumulated illegally. The one that has stole our money. Check their lives. It cannot be well with them. That's the truth. In fact, the Bible states in Jeremiah that as the partridge lays egg and does not hatch it, so it is he that what? Amasses sweat without, 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 without justice. He said he will leave it in the midst of his days and at the end he shall become a fool. Please remain clean in this money matter. Don't defraud your employer. Don't cheat your employer. The liver has promised. If we must fail, confess to them. Like one time, my client one time gave me a business training job to train the whole company on the issue of safety, on the issue of um, fire prevention, fire fighting, fire safety. And uh, we said, We're going to buy fire extinguishers. He gave me all the money. I got to the place where they sell it, and the man was helpful. He said, Sir, you don't have to buy, you can rent. Is that so? To buy was to cost us maybe about 30,000 naira, 30k. But to rent, 5,000. He said, when you rent, you simply expose and expire the gas inside, but container is still there, can be refilled. So I was going to get it at 5,000 instead of 30,000. And we are buying about um, four types, five types. 
the oxygen type, the gas type. So, we, so that means I had I made a savings of twenty five thousand dollars just to let you understand times this number. And when I and when I delivered the work, when I finished the training, they were all blessed. I was being praised, and I said, sir, this is leftover money to my to my to the to the group MD. He was he said for what? He said, sir, the money you gave to me to buy, I found that I could rent. So we made savings. This is the remaining money. The man looked at, he took the money and looked at him. He asked the question, are you a Nigerian? I can't forget that question. Are you a Nigerian? You could turn this money. He took it. He didn't give me anything out of it too. But I was glad. I could have self raised my gain. I made a proposal to him and he approved it. So anything that goes to is my own. No! I told him I will buy. But I found that it's possible for me to rent at a much more reduced price. I gave him. I think that one touched him. He now called me and said he had over the entire training program for his, for his, for his industry. You know, the, you know the factory very well. It's a conglomerate. If you are going along in Ogiri, it's called animal care. Animal care, poultry, water, and so on. I was there trained for five years from that single transaction. Five years, I was their main trainer. I trained the veterinary doctors. I trained the marketing people. I trained everyone regularly for five years. If I had the call to go full time to the ministry, it pays. Don't do it the way they do. I gave a lecture somewhere when I was a consultant to Chapter Institute of Personal Management. I gave the lecture. I wonder if the director of the palm sex came to attend the lectures. And he, he liked what he saw. He took my contact. And I invited me. The palm sex. He said, sir, what you gave in that place, I love it. And I've told my minister, I've told everybody. Now, we want to ask you to do training for us for the entire country. Any, everywhere, it was a federal ministry. So you'll be going from state to state to be doing this training. I said, I like what I saw in that one hour lecture. Say thank you. It's okay. That means going to give me the entire country. I'll be, maybe to last me about four or five months. I'll be training and training. Say no problem. Thank you very much. Say I've, and they have, they have approved you as a main trainer. Thank you, sir. Say this is the only condition. Um, we know you are a Christian. You will not take bribe. I will not take bribe from you. You will not, you will not give bribe. But when we are giving you the bill, you are to add this amount for us. Don't worry how it will come out. Just write the amount for us. As me, for instance, my money was 200 million. Maybe I'm to add for them 300 million. That's not bother. They will give my 200 million eventually. So just do it for us. Without thinking twice, I said, I can't do it. You say you can't? I, say, I can't do it. My money is 200. The whole cost with my gain. He said, I should add 300 for you. So I can take. I said, No, I won't do that. He said, Why? He said, I won't do that. And to late that time, I in their money. You look at me again. Are you sure? Go and think about. I say I'm not thinking about sir. I can't do it. We are the ones that are praying against the enemy of Nigeria. We are not praying against those who are defunding Nigeria. I should write defraud Nigeria by three hundred million. I've made my own profit. Any amount I brought, they say they will not edit it. Any amount I say to cost, even if it times five, they don't mind. But their own should be on top of it. I say I won't do it, and I turn back. I turned back. God was looking at me. Nobody was there. Only myself and that palm sec in a federal ministry. I won't tell you the, 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 the ministry. God saw it. And I'm still enjoying that blessing till now. Please, make up your mind. You'll be among those few who will not defile himself with the king's meat. Don't punch it under to let it look complete when they overpay you return the balance God is watching everything compromise and sinfulness don't use your company your business as avenue to oppress people physically or sexually or anyone don't compromise and sinfulness will let money go away I'm still enjoying it here now Decision to stay to stay straight and clean. Number seven, reason why money grows wings and depart from people is stinginess. 
selfishness and inability to give stinginess selfishness and inability to give proverbs 11 24 to 25 proverbs 11 24 to 25 say there is there is e there is e that scatter it and yet increase it and there is that we told it more than is need but it turned to poverty the liberal soul shall be made fat either waterless shall be watered also himself be liberal a final one for this segment is cynicism cynicism c-y-n-i-c-i-c-s-n what do I mean by cynics? Cynics are those that scoff, that criticize, that mock, that belittle. Cynics never win at anything. They never make any attempt that break out of the regular circle. Cynics never succeed. They don't move. Even when God is moving, his servant to declare where to go. If Peter had been Sinica, when Jesus asked him to catch a fish and get his tax money out of the mouth of the fish, he would have ended in jail. You know what? It's a rule of life. What will be little will be little in your own life. What will be little? So for that they had of teaching like this coming their way they don't regard it they scoff at it at it and so they remain where they are because what to be little shall be little he said this also in the house of faith but God he said we should move like this but he said say no 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 I will not compromise my comfort I will stay home I come to command at my own time no problem but don't forget whatever you believe to shall be to your life don't believe to somebody succeeds don't raise your nose and say who oh, knows their secret eh, who knows why they are doing it no that should not be your first one you are passing through some big houses some big mansion say your first thought is hmm they must be suffering behind that building who told you that man now we don't know what he's suffering Maybe a bury woman be under the foundation for you to be able to build three six stories building. With such a mentality, you cannot even attempt a one story building. A scientist will never read success stories, he prefers the gossip stories, he prefers the story that mock the rich, that mock those who are successful. You will not look at the principle that made for stardom. No, they look for how stars fall. Sinus. They don't make, they don't make progress. Even inside church, so when they give testimony, they are just hmm hmm. Who knows that he's saying the truth? How can it be possible? It cannot happen. The fact that it's happened to your neighbor means that thing has come to your neighborhood. Embrace it. Embrace it. Stop coughing at progress. Embrace it. It will happen to you also. Don't look down. On what God is bringing up. Don't be little anything unless you want to be little in that thing. If you be little wealth, you'll be little in wealth. If you be little progress, you'll be little in progress. That's why I read biographies. That's why if I see you are on social media, I'm looking for stories of success. You see me on Google, I'm looking for stories of success. Signists don't go far. Rise up on your feet. Rich people, poor people, 20 reasons separate them. I've dealt with eight in this series. By next week, by God's will continue to get to under eight, with under one, until we are through with this series of rich people, poor people. Father, I've given your word as you sent me. Breathe upon it, Lord. These eight principles, blow it, explain it quicken to your people's hearts. Let me begin to make the right move this week in line with what they have been hearing. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Good news is this. 
if you check the platform of a